Hi everyone, my name is David Vinoker of Captivix. We are a business technology group based in Chicago, Illinois, and we are a Microsoft partner specializing in Microsoft Dynamics implementation. This video is part of our AX7 introductory series. It's meant to get you up and running with Microsoft Dynamics AX7 and help you reach your goals and complete business tasks. Dynamics AX allows us to associate multiple product routes and cost versions per finished product. This can be very helpful in such cases as managing multiple production facilities or maintaining different production processes. In this video, I will show you how to create a route for a product, manage cost versions, and review cost details. Let's get started by creating a route for a finished product. Let's head over to the release product list by clicking on the main menu, product information management, products, and released products. Here, go ahead and filter and select a product to which you want to assign a route. With your product selected, click the Engineer tab and select Route from the View group. This will take you to the Route Management screen. To create the route, click the Route tab and select Create Route. In the Create Route frame, assign a description and a production site. Here we're producing paint cleaner at production site 1. At this point, we have the option of adding route lines individually or copying over existing route information. In this example, let's do the latter by clicking Route and selecting Copy Route from the Maintain Route group. In the Copy Route window, select the route that you want to copy from and note that you can indicate a route date. Now press OK. And at this point, the route information has been copied over and we can modify our new route as necessary. Let's go ahead and set the from quantity. Here we'll say 100. Now let's also set the from date. Click Save to save all changes. Now that our new route has been created, we can review the route feasibility by clicking on the route version and route feasibility. This screen presents the resources required for production. Close this window by pressing the X in the top right corner. Go ahead and approve your route by clicking the route version tab and approve. On this screen, select the personnel. You can now activate your route by pressing Route Version and Activate. Your route is now ready to go live. Click Save to save all changes and close out by clicking the X in the top right corner. Now that our route has been created, let's create a cost version for our item. Click on the Manage Cost tab and select the item price in the Setup group. Here we can set the pricing for our item by pressing the plus new icon. Note that the price type is set to cost. In this example, we will select version 2016, Site 1, quantity of 100. To calculate and view the cost of this item, click on the ellipsis icon and select Calculate Item Cost. Select your costing version, site, route number, formula, And set a quantity. In our case, we will set it to 100. We will be prompted to insert the active formula and route versions. Let's select Yes. In the Price Recording and Version tab, we can choose to record cost pricing, sales pricing, or both. In our example, we will select Cost Only. 
Press OK and we can now see the calculated cost within the line item. In our example, it is 60 cents per unit. We can now see the calculation details by clicking on the ellipsis and view calculation details. We can review all of the resources that are contributed to the associated cost. To compare our new cost to the active cost structure, click Compare to Active Cost. In our example, the costs are the same at 60 cents. This information can help you improve production efficiency and design cost-effective production strategies. To recap, in this video we reviewed how to create production routes, cost versions, and even drill into cost details for products. If you have any questions about Microsoft Dynamics, feel free to contact us via captivex.com. Thanks for watching and take care.